I had a friend in my ward and she was in CS 142. Um, I was an economics major at the time and she was just telling me about the class and I was like, oh, you should teach me how to program. So she came over and we wrote a program that um, it calculated how old you were. And so we wrote the program and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, but we should make it calculate how many days you've been alive because I don't know that, I know my age. And she's like, oh, I don't know how to do this. And I was like, well, we can figure it out. And so I kind of like problem solved and we figured this program out. And so I thought it was so cool. So I dropped one of my econ classes and took CS142 and CS124. I developed an app that uses computer vision and the human computer interaction part of it is that it introduces a very unique experience. So when you're at a tourist location and you ask somebody to take your photo and you get the photo back and it's just not what you imagined. So this, I experienced this problem quite a bit and I felt like my phone should be smarter. And so I started thinking of ways that the camera could guide the user into taking the phone I wanted. And so using a computer vision algorithm called visual inertial odometry, um, I have the user take the photo they want without themselves standing in it. Then they pass the phone to the stranger who's taking their photo, step into the frame, and then the camera guides the user into taking the same photo that you just took using this algorithm which um, estimates the pose. At the end of my undergrad experience, I was just getting to the really cool algorithms and the really cool problems. And so by going to grad school, I was able to like increase my knowledge in these more complicated areas. A lot of people will say to me, they're like, you don't look like a computer scientist. But I kind of like to push back to make them realize that they're stereotyping me and that there shouldn't be this stereotype with computer science because it's everywhere in every industry. So. Every type of person can be a computer scientist.